Good morning, beautiful people. I hope that you guys are well. Um, yesterday's news really took it out of me. And I think for the first time in the entire year, it actually inspired me to write my first piece. Um, yeah, well, I, haven't, I, hadn't, I hadn't put pen to paper in six months. <laughs> Every time I try to do a recording, that's when a message comes in. <laughs> I cannot have any messages all morning or all afternoon. And as soon as I click record, a message comes in. I'm so sorry for that. Um, and it just had me thinking this morning on why I do what I do and why. So um, when I started this channel, I kind of didn't really quite understand the concept I was going with, but I just wanted to do a channel that would have helped people. And to take people along my journey and hopefully inspire them to take their journey and um, try something different. And when I came to the black and white, I was just like, wow, this does something to me. It resonates with me, but I didn't understand why. And then after writing the piece Social Madness, I realized why. I think in social in the world of social media it is like sensory overload. There's so many different things that are happening all at once and your conscious mind does not have the opportunity at a time to process all the images that you're receiving, but your subconscious does and it feeds into your spirit and you're wondering, oh, why am I feeling a particular kind of way? What's going on with me? But it's because of all of this information that you're getting all at once. And I just wanted to create a space where there was tranquility, peace, clean lines, and simplicity. I think there's beauty in simplicity. And only, only after writing Social Madness, I realized why I resonated so much to the concept of um, just the black and white space and um, the beauty that comes from that simplicity. Another question came to mind was why did why did I decide to become a YouTuber and why did I quit my job? <laughs> well, I won't know. I, I can't say. Okay, let's start this. Why did I become a YouTuber? Well, I won't say that I'm officially a YouTuber yet because I'm learning the ropes and uh, the reason why I wanted to dive into this digital space is simply because I wanted to. <laughs> I've always wanted to, I've always had an interest of being in this space and how I can motivate and inspire and transform lives. I think that's why I study law. That's why I wanted to become a lawyer. I wanted to affect change in a positive way and um, help change the narrative through policy. That was my initial thought process. <laughs> um, but you know, life happens, you evolve and you grow. So the reason why am I doing this? Because I want to. And I want to see how it goes and how far I can take it. And um, at least I could say I've tried to do it. Uh, why did I quit my job? Because um, these are some of the questions. I quit my job because I was no longer happy doing it. Um, the firm that I work for, hands down, is one of the best firms and best companies I have ever worked for. Um, I think when I came to that firm, I was suffering from PTSD from the other place of employment. And it really amazed me how the culture at my current firm was about people and people on all spectrums, not just our customers or our clients, but also staff. They really, really did or do care about their people. And that was a concept that really, really touched me, um, their sense of social responsibility and um, corporate responsibility was by far beyond any I had seen prior to coming to that, that institution. So I have nothing but good to, to pretty much praise about where I worked. I mean, like in any company, you might have your, your, your pros and your cons that you don't like, but overall really, really good place to work. And I don't regret my time there. And I'm grateful for the opportunity that I was given, um, uh, to work there. Um, so I say all of this to say, and, and, and again, I am not advocating for anyone to just go and quit their job because they don't feel like working today. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if you feel like you're 
not being as productive as you can be and you're not inspired or motivated to do what you're currently doing, then you need to reevaluate and and, and um, really think about well, what, what will bring you passion, what will give you a sense of purpose and where you really want to be moving forward. Uh, so those are my thoughts for today. Um, why? And, 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 and in everything you have to have a why, do you know what I mean? Why this channel? Cause I want to inspire and encourage and transform. Why this channel? Because it creates a when, not if, by the grace of God, when it becomes monetized, it will create an additional source of income that I can rely on. Why? Because it helps me to get one step closer to fire. Why is fire important? Because fire gives me the freedom that I need to live my life. Everything is connected into your why. Um, freedom to live my life means I can spend time with the people that I love the most and I can give back. Um, why? Because I understand that time is limited. Why? Because we only get one go at this thing called life. So I want you guys to really think about what is your why in life. And, and if you don't know what your why is, go search for it. All right, guys, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. And do what? Tell a friend to tell a friend to come on with it. Bye.